Hello and welcome to um, a revision video on GCSE Chemistry uh, C1 Fundamental Ideas and 1.1 which is Atom Elements and Compounds as well as Atomic Structure. So we're, this is just a revision video, um, um, it won't be like too in-depth, we won't be going over the textbook but the revision guide um, just to help you guys f get like familiar you got familiar rise you guys with the topics covered so um basically fundamental ideas this like this part of the course um it asks it just tells you about like atoms and basically periodic table stuff so first of all we need to know that everything let's think pick a funky color everything is made up of atoms <laughs> they are the building blocks of everything everything is made up of atoms is all you need to know um so like uh you could say all substances substance all substances substances are are made out of atoms and we can even make it more funky by changing the text and everything make it look nice you know bold and make that uh, bit big so we're gonna make it a bit smaller all substances are made up of atoms <laughs> that's all we need to know next we uh, so basically there are over a hundred Wait, so, and all substances are made of atoms, and atoms are the building blocks of everything, and they're also the building blocks of elements, and elements are basically what you see on here. They, um, every single element has its own type of atom, so, so like helium would have its own atom, and it would have a like different structure to lithium or, or, like um, gold and basically you just need to know that everything is made up of atoms that's all they need you to know and then they can also need you to know that atoms um, well elements only have one type of atom so let's type that up elements only have one type one type of atom <laughs> and also um, atoms are arranged in the periodic table which is what you see here this thing uh, no this thing right here that's the periodic table invented by Dmitry Mendeleev um, uh, a couple of hundred years ago and basically just organizes all the elements that we know of at the moment that he knew of and we kept adding to it he knew of in like um, atomic order like order of the amount of protons they have now um, so basically um, elements oh, you be seeing these like symbols and like these letter t letters and you'll be like what does that mean well these are called um, symbols and they are like shorthand terms for elements so helium is H E, hydrogen H, uh, silicon is S I, sulfur is S. Basically, it's just like the way scientists will use them in f like equations and all that. Uh, it's a shortened way. And then we also need to know about how the periodic table is arranged. So I've told you that it goes from uh, the top as well, like the atoms with the least amount of protons are. Bottom is the most. Um, so like. Top top would be like the lightest types of, types of atoms, uh, types of elements. Whilst the bottom will be like the heaviest, um, but they don't you don't really need to know that. But it it you will know that through common sense because like the more matter there is, the more protons there is, obviously the heavier or more mass it will have. Now you do need to know, however, that you'd be like, what are these numbers? These numbers they are called groups. So and that's like all these, like, and that, uh, let's say, elements of the same 
column they're called they're like um they are said to be in the same group and what that basically just means is they've got the same number of um electrons in their outer shell when they're by themselves um and also they have similar properties and so like uh lithium would be like similar to um sodium n a and yeah um and then you also get these rows rows are called periods on the periodic table hence periodic table um and they just tell you like how reactive they are um because the bot the further down you go the less stable they are the more reactive they are um but they also have um a larger number of electron shells now you may look like protons neutrons electron shells what are they well um that is in 1.2 which i will go through in this video as well um so uh i think that's all we need to know about the periodic table right now um so let's just summarize this uh all substances are made up of atoms elements only have one type of atom uh all elements are found in the periodic table uh you need to know about groups and periods groups have similar properties and uh let's just move this out there. and periods have similar have the same amount of electron shells shields shells um and also that elements can be represented as symbols so um i e hydrogen is h now um so what is an atom? An at well, we've said that. An at well, we've already said an atom is the building block of everything. But we need to know what it consists of. So um, instead of like having an image up here, I'll draw you an atom. You'll be like, "Whoa, you're gonna draw one?" Yeah, I am. It's gonna be really, really dodgy. But let's go. Right. So let's fill this up, and we do not want that actually. So. Uh, no, remove the text. Is that alright? Um, let's just uh, <laughs> see. I'm still getting used to this uh, thingy, and the text won't go away. Oh no! But just ignore that for now. We'll write over it someday, somehow. Um, I guess I can just go like that. Rub it all out. Rub it all out. <laughs> now, uh, 1.2 atomic structure. So. Let me draw you a really rough sketch of what an atom looks like. Um, in the middle you have the nucleus. Uh, that's called the nucleus. Uh, so, excuse me for my terrible handwriting. I'm on my mouse. I'll uh, transfer to a graphic tablet soon. But a nucleus is in the middle. And that's, so that's the nucleus. And then around it you have um, electron shells so like uh, and then on the electron shells you get electrons uh, let's do that in a different color actually um, you get electrons okay so electrons and then um, electrons orbit around the nucleus like just like um, the moon orbit orbits around the earth or the earth orbits around the sun um, and electrons have well, nu like the nucleus has a neutral, actually has a positive charge. Sorry, well, the electron has a negative charge. Um, we'll go back to that later. But right now, you, ne you also need to know that. So you need to know, right? What do you need to know? You need to know that that's a nucleus, and I, as I can't be asked to, right? I'll type it up because it's easier. Electron is this one, and then. Um, electron shell. Now, there obviously there can be more than one shell. 
as you go down the periods, there will be more and more shells. Um, you need to know that um, there can only ever be two electrons in the uh, in the first shell, the most the innermost shell. Um, and we'll go through that in 1.3. But right now, um, let's look into the nucleus more closely. So the nucleus, uh, let's draw a circle as in like a magnifying glass into the nucleus. We have, um, let's use different colours again. We have, uh, oh that doesn't show up very well. Um, we have like all of these little smaller subatomic particles. Subatomic means like smaller than atomic. So an atom would be this large thing, subatomic particles would be like those that make up an atom. Um, you don't need to, oh, you might you might need to know that, not that it says on mine. But then you get two types in a, the nucleus. You get the proton and the neutron. Now, proton we can imagine is the orange ones. And the neutrons we can imagine are the pinkish purple ones. Uh, text neutron. Now, um, um, like, say, well, right, we all know that Earth has gravity, and it's the gravity that keeps the, um, the moon in orbit, and that kind of happens in an atom as well, but instead of gravity, we have electrical charge, like like magnets that pull them together-ish. And basically, what they want you to know that is that um, they want you to know the, about the charges. So let's clear it again. Fill it up with a different colour. A lot more brighter. No. Yep, and then we can draw ourselves a table. This is going to be a terrible table, but it will work, I hope. Um, so you need to know about the mass and the um, the charge. So you get proton, you get a neutron. Uh, capital neutron um, and then you get an electron <laughs> and then you have the mass and also the charge now in the mass let's talk about the mass so a proton has a mass of one um, doesn't actually have one, but the example board wants you to have no, it's one, close to one anyway. Um, <laughs> neutron has a mass of one, and the electron has a mass of almost zero. Almost, almost, um, around zero. Um, the mass is not really important in in the course right now but the charge is the protons have a positive charge plus one neutrons have a neutral charge um, and an electron has a negative charge now um, it's quite easy to tell whether the proton or what like the charge of the proton and neutron is because pro is like up like good so it would be plus neutron is like neutral zero and electron you just need to know it's negative one um, and that um, so back to the analogy of like gravity so in an atom because the pr um, the pro the number of protons and the number of electrons will always equal um, and basically well this applies for singular atoms um, basically you would have uh, so say there were like five protons, so 